Hey everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus, and today we're going to learn how to apply gradients to editable text in Adobe Illustrator. Adding gradients to backgrounds and shapes in Adobe Illustrator is just as easy as choosing the shape and choosing the gradient tool. But the same can't be said for type. So I'm going to talk you through step by step things to know and things to avoid when adding gradients to text in Adobe Illustrator. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Tropical Signature Script font. This hand-drawn script font makes a statement. With its long descenders, ligatures, and swashes, you'll be able to make any marketing material, quotes, or even logos that you desire. This font, and many more like them, can be found at pixelsurplus.com. Links will be in the description below. Let's begin by typing out a word. I've decided to type gradient using the tropical font that I mentioned a minute ago. In Adobe Illustrator, if you want to add a gradient to a shape, what you do is you just draw the shape, hit G on your keyboard to access the gradient tool and select that shape. But this method doesn't apply to text in Adobe Illustrator. To add a gradient to text in Adobe Illustrator, we're gonna to need to open two panels. So head to your Windows panel and access the Appearance panel, as well as the Gradients panel. Now that we have those panels open, we're going to select our text and we're going to remove the fill. If we don't remove the fill now, there'll be a pixelated haloing effect around our gradient that just looks unprofessional. Once we've removed our text's fill color in the toolbar, we're going to head to the Appearance panel and we're going to choose this button to add a new fill. Now we can select our fill colors drop down menu and choose from one of the already provided gradients. I'm going to choose the white and black. Now you can see that your gradient has been applied to your editable text, allowing you to go in and remove characters, add characters, and have the gradient still be one cohesive unit. Now you can head to the gradients panel and edit this gradient any way you like, whether it's the opacity, the type of gradient, or the color, it all works the same as if you were working with a shape. Like and subscribe, and whilst you're down there, why don't you click on the link to Pixel Surplus. You can get your hands on free brushes, fonts, textures, templates, and so much more, as well as the best font bundles on the internet. Premium fonts at crazy discounts. Who could ask for anything more? Check out Pixel Surplus today. Thanks and have a great day everyone.